how to use stride chords to create emotional music. So, we're going to learn how to create something like that. And you're still going to learn how to do something like this. How is it? It's cool. So, you know, tried chords, it's more like one of those chords, the most simplest chords we have. Three note chords. So, um, um, if you're doing your trides on your major scale or whatever you have, converting your major scale to tried, you have major tried, we have minor tried, and diminished tried. So, major tried formula, if in the key of F is your one, three, five. Minor tried formula is your one flat three and five. Then diminished tried formula is your one flat three flat five. So if you're converting your major scale, you now have all your major scale chords as stride chords. Now this is it. Now if you have your chord one, work with chord one, chord four, and chord five. So how do you now turn tried chords? Use stride chords to create emotional music. It's by using um, inversions. You should understand when you use inversions. So inversions is one way. Then the second way is by turning it to arpeggio. So if we use inversions, we're on chord one and F. First inversion, second inversion. We come again chord one, first inversion, second inversion. So if you are here, the first inversion, you just pick the first notes of the chord, which is the, take it to the nearest right position. Yeah, first inversion. For second inversion, you pick the first note again, take it to the nearest right position. Yeah, second inversion. So we only have first and second inversion for all chords. So we have chord one, first inversion, second inversion. We go again, chord one, first inversion, second inversion. So if you run it through, it's going to be like this. You see? You can apply that for all progressions of your major skill. If you do for chord two, if you do, if you do for chord three, but then how you now creating emotional music with it? On your right hand, you just do your chord one. You want to do chord one, chord four, and chord five. So we'll do something like chord one. Just play a one and five. Just the first note and the third note only at the root position. So it's then on your left hand, you do the first, the root position, first inversion, second inversion. So something like this. So you see. So since chord four has taken a chord here, so we're gonna start okay, chord four is here. So this is one first this is root position, first inversions, yes, then second inversion. So we're going to chord one. So chord four. Chord five. We'll come back to chord one. Very easy. So what's the next thing you want to do is uh, you can now say to create more emotional music, you can turn this to a peg you so you can do something like this. So it's easy. So that's it. Five. 